Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd Habita fillah If you want to know why Ahl Sunnah Does not Make takfir recklessly and discriminately Like groups like ISIL or IS or Daesh or Al-Qaeda Jubat al-Nusra or any of these uh, takfiri groups, Jamaat al-Takfir wa Hijra, a lot of the du'at of takfir and the people of uh, Bid'ah and Ahwa, the reason we don't follow their minhaj is because their minhaj is batil and it's summed up in a beautiful statement by Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah which gives you the methodology, the madhab, the minhaj of Ahl al-Sunnah wal Jama'ah. How do we we view this issue, this great issue, this severe, serious issue of trying to take and declare someone to be outside of the fold of Islam. It's not something to be taken lightly. This is a, something which must come from evidence and there are conditions and there are the law of it, criterion for it, and there are mu'ana, there are things that prohibit making takfir. Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah said a beautiful statement, and we'll, we'll end it at that. He said, فَلِهَذَا كَانَ أَهْلَ الْعِلْمِ وَالسُنَّةِ لَا يُكَفِّرُونَ مَنْ خَالَفُهُمْ وَإِنْ كَانَ ذَلِكَ الْمُخَالَفِ يُكَفِّرُهُمْ لِأَنَّ الْكُفْرَ حُكْمٌ شِرْعِي فَلَيْسَ لِلْإِنسَانِ أَنْ يُعَاقِبَ بِمِثْلِهِ كَمَنْ كَذَّبَ عَلَيْكَ وَزَنَ بِأَهْلَكَ لَيْسَ لَكَ أَنْ تَكْذِبَ عَلَيْهِ وَتَزْنِي بِأَهْلِهِ لأن الكذب والزنا حرام لحق الله تعالى وكذلك تكفير حق الله تعالى فلا يكفر إلا من كفره الله ورسوله انتهى كلام الشيخ الإسلام this beautiful statement of الشيخ الإسلام ابن تيمية he said and for this reason أهل أهل العلم meaning the people of knowledge والسنة and the people uh, in Sunnah, the people of knowledge in Sunnah, do not declare uh, those who differ with them to be kafirs. Very important statement, Ahabitifullah. Analyze this. That means we don't let our desires overcome us. Likewise, with bid'ah and tabdir, just because someone else makes bid'ah of you, uh, makes tabdir of you, doesn't mean you have to make tabdir of them. Or that you disagree with them, so you make tabdi of them ala tool. La. These, these things have conditions. These things have the wabit. These things are a sharia rulings and are very serious. Go back to the kalam of Shaykh al-Islam. So he said, La yu kafiru men khalafun. Ahl sunnah wal iman wal ilm. They don't um, make takfir of those who disagree with them. Even if that mukhalif, even if that person who differs with them, or who has made a mistake, makes takfir of them, declares them to be a, a disbeliever. And he says, because kufr, you know, making the hukum, is, is a ruling, a sharia ruling. It's a sharia ruling. And that is not for any person to, uh, just because someone made takfir of you, for you to make takfir of them, to give them the same treatment. That's not for you to do. Likewise, similar to the way that if someone lies about you or commits uh, adultery with your family, it is, uh, it is not permissible for you to lie upon them or commit adultery with their family. And he says that is because lying and adultery are haram. And they are the right of Allah the Almighty. Meaning, uh, they have to do with the, they, they are haram due to the violation of the right of Allah. And likewise, takfir, you know, declaring someone to be a disbeliever, is the right of Allah the Almighty. So do not declare, do not make takfir of someone, unless it is someone who Allah and his messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, may take fear on. That doesn't mean it has to be just a nus, 
We have to understand, you'll find this from other Kalam and Shaykh Islam, and because of, of course, being able to practicality, being able to practice this hukum, that there are criteria, there are shurud, conditions, and there are mu'an, and those, those things which prohibit from making takfir. So it's a very serious issue. Ahl Sunnah leaves that to the people of knowledge, the people who are grounded in those, those affairs, to make those sh serious Sharia rulings. And even when they make those rulings, it has to be based on Kitabi Law, with Sunnah to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and the understanding, the Fahim of the Salaf al Salih, and the understanding of the pious predecessors. This is what these serious rulings uh, return back to, and this is what Ahl Sunnah, Wal Ilm, Wa Iman returns back to. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil, and protect the Ummah from Ahl Sham from the people of Takfir, and the people like Daesh, and the people of, of Kufr, or Zambaka, or Ilhad, and the people of Bida and Hawa, who make Takfir and Tabdir without the right to do so. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct is from Allah Azza wa Jalla. Anything I said that was incorrect is from myself and the Shaytan, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam,